All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. So today we've got the total tank simulator. It's completely accurate. It's totally accurate. It's the total tank simulator. So obviously this thing, this game was, I would say, I would dare say, inspired by totally accurate battle simulator. This is a pre-alpha version made by noobs from Poland. So it's likely that this game was made in Kazakhstan. That being said, these Poles know what they're doing as far as like tank on tank warfare in just like hilarious style. So here's the sandbox. We've got a campaign. And I made it to level 3 so far on the other channel. Link in the video description below. If you'd like to see more of this game, pulls the trigger on the like button. Do it. And, you know, let me know you'd like to see more. However, look at this. We've got BT-7s, T-34s, KV-2s, anti-tank guns, 53Ks, artillery, ZIS-3s, and we've got landmines. Now, and then the Germans. Jawohl, Herr Cologne. The light tanks, we've got Panzer IIs, Panzer Threes, Tigers, Pack 40s We've got FK artilleries, which I can only imagine stand for fuck it. And we've got landmines. So, I know what you all are going to want to see, so let's just do it. Alright, so don't fight a battle if you don't gain anything by winning, says Irvin Rommel. So we've got 100 Tiger tanks versus 100 KV-2s. However, when you look at the KV-2s, they look more like KV-1s. So let's just call them KV-1s. So this is the absolute ridiculousness that is Total Tank Simulator. Even trees. Look, when you see a tree get hit, they shoot up like rocket ships. So we've also got like a Polish space program because we all know Poland can into space. And it looks like, honestly, that the Tigers are just absolutely slaughtering. So the cool thing about this is there's kind of... It's not just like one hit and things are dead. You know, tanks can get immobilized. I've seen tank turrets get jammed shortly after being immobilized. And so that does happen. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things. Oh my God, Russian bias does not exist. This is the German bias. Now the lines weren't completely set up the same, but oh, you know what? Sephira is happy with this, even though he's a dick. So here we go. Wow. 32 Tigers survived without being damaged, 23 were immobilized, and 45 killed. So 100 KV-1s were destroyed in that battle. So, But if you look at the lines, they're not totally set up the same. So what I'm going to do is do 100 versus 100 and just like make them perk. Alright, so you can see here we've got 100 Tigers 100 kv 2 dash ones and they're in a completely mirrored lineup. Let's see what happens and let's see what quote we get today. The longer the battle lasts, the more force we'll have to use. Georgi Zukov. All right, uh, right now it seems like the Tigers are faring better. Actually, you know what? I'd say it's relatively even and the KVs are flanking around. Clement Voroshilov, he thinks. Flanking it around the Tigers. Now, does that allow them to get into kind of this crossfire? They may be winning the right flank, but they are getting slaughtered in the middle and they're about to route the left flank. So I'd say, once again, it looks like the Tigers are going to win. Now, was the map the same? That's a question. Does it have to do with these trees? Maybe the trees fuck it up because this team's firing and hitting the trees, whereas the Tigers are not. Ladies and gentlemen, and we all thought Russian bias was a thing. Well, apparently not in a total tank simulator, which obviously is going to be totally accurate. So we've got two tanks, and then we've got three immobilized ones over there. Oh my god. These are the last two. See, look, that one's turret was jammed. We're going to have to do this out of three. And if this doesn't work, look at this. 16 were fine, 17 immobilized, 67 killed. Once again... So Germans, maybe is it the map? Let's see what happens. It might have something to do with the trees. Or like maybe their drop-in distance, but this is pre-alpha. <laughs> You'd think that like a battle like this would be, uh, what would you say? Closer, right? You'd imagine it to be a little bit closer, a little bit more evenly balanced. But however, this time, this rightward kind of hook 
that the Russians are doing seems to be pretty good, but when you look at just sheer numbers, there are a lot more Tigers left on the field of battle. Yeah, it looks like once again. See, this, like, each tank takes a certain amount of hits. You know, you can get immobilized, you can get killed. Now, we haven't shown off light tanks or medium tanks, but I hope that in the comments below right now, you're thinking about all the battles you'd love to create. And you know what? If you say, oh, I want to do the Battle of Kursk, and I want the Russians to have X amount of heavies, lights, mediums, field artillery, and anti-tank guns, and then you pick the German side too, you know I'm going to do that, especially when you guys vote on them. This could be pretty damn fun to show up. Oh my god, that shell like bounced off some wreckage and hit this guy. I wonder if it damaged him all. The Germans are victorious! How wunderbar! Alright, this time we had 50, 71 were killed, so a few more. Now we're going to do one more simulation. Now obviously this isn't for statistical probabilities. Look at that, they're firing in the air. It looks like the Tigers started taking a few more hits. And then all of a sudden just like... Actually, both lines are starting to, like, erupt. And I dare say that the Russians look the stronger, but it usually comes down to this just critical area over here. You know what? The Russians are doing better, man. I think the Russians might win this one. It's just totally random. This looks like a Russian victory. Could it be the Russian bias? Oh, look at this. We've got some close quarters firing. Who's going to win? Hit him in the ammo rack. Oh... You have shameful display. What? Okay, good. We've got at least we've got a lot more. Now, I don't normally cheer for the Russians, but in a game like this, when the Germans have won two in a row, I'd like to see a Russian victory. I think it might have to do something with maybe the map. Beep pew. I love how these shells can like bounce off and hit multiple tanks. Now whether or not they pen now does that have to do with like angling and stuff? That would be kind of cool. I, I dare say, ladies and gentlemen, the German Reich might be forlorn. The Krieg is forlorn. We've only got three right there and then maybe three over here. Oh, actually, just because these aren't immobilized doesn't mean they're going to win. But they should. So there's one active Tiger and two immobilized ones versus three active KV-1s and one immobilized. So there are actually more Tigers on the field near the end there, but they were mostly inactivated. Look at this guy. He's, like, showing his booty hole. Like, hey, just go ahead and shoot me in that weak armor there. And this is the last Tiger, ladies and gentlemen. He just got, oh, two into the turret, and he dead. He dead. Makes you wonder if they're going to include, like, armored cars. Hey, at least we saw a Soviet victory, right? All right, but yeah, so let's go ahead and clear this out, yeah? Now let's do just light tanks. We're just gonna do, I'm gonna do the Russian strategy of spam. And you know what, we're gonna give them a medium tank commander. Ha ha ha, fuck you, Russia. And then we're gonna have some Tigers. And then we're gonna have some anti-tank guns, some Pac 40s back here. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna landmine the shit out of this. Because why not? And we're gonna put one Panzer II on either flank because what I've discovered is your tanks can run over your own mines and die that way. All right, so I'm expecting these anti-tank guns to do some work. Now, most of them were positioned in the wrong way. Here's the BT-7s though coming in. Were they BT-5s or BT-7s? Look at these mines though. Look at the mines! And they call it a mine. What movie, guys? What movie? Random movie trivia. Boosh! Oh, that guy's skirting the mines like a ballast, only to run into it. And this guy's just YOLO charging. You only tank once, friend. He's actually pretty good. Well, he was. I'm expecting... Look at these AT guns back here, man. I don't even think they're firing. Let's see. Did we put them too far back? They're just now starting to fire. I wish I knew the range on them. Oh my god, these Tigers are getting absolutely routed. You know what? The Russians could win this one. I thought these Tigers would soak up more damage, but there's just so many Russians. How Russian. Oh my god, these AT guns are just obliterating everything, though. So many are getting immobilized, and then their friends have to, like, navigate around them or go through them. You cheating bastard! And it's like one hit, one or two hits, and you're immobilized. There's the T-34, though. Is he gonna hit a mine? Oh god. 
Wait, is he gonna get right through them? <gasps> he almost did. He almost made it. Holy shit. Well, the Russians had a chance. And then all these AT guns. I don't think we've even lost an AT gun quite yet. Well, there you go. There's one of them down. Oh, imagine if you could take control of vehicles or AT guns. I feel like that's one of the things that totally accurate battle simulator. Oh, now the commander needs to get wrecked. Let's see, do they have the range? Or maybe like after a certain amount of time. Ooh, you know what? They might be out of range. Well, we'll call it a draw. All right, so what do we want to do? We want to, let's switch some artillery back there. Oh, they're dashes instead of dots. Okay. Actually, I wanted to put the AT guns up a little forward. We'll call in some artillery. We'll have a few AT guns behind the mines. I think there can be friendly fire, too. I'm pretty sure I've experienced that. All right, let's see it. The German defense against overwhelming... Oh, my God, my AT guns are hitting the mines. And that Panzer II hit a mine. Talk about specialness, huh? Some special German tactics were going on. We've got Polish rocket ships. Poland can into space. Come on, IT guns. Yeah, since we've got this kind of like picket line where they're all staccato, plus artillery's firing. Let's see how artillery does. Artillery, I don't think is as accurate, but it's pretty powerful if it does hit a tank. I've seen them immobilize and destroy heavy tanks, but it takes like a few hits. Oh, they're just now getting to the mines, so this should be rough times for the Russians. But these, these guys are getting around the flank here. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think the, the Russians can hang. How's this T-34 commander doing? Who is the uh, big, you know, who is the Russian equivalent of, like, Rommel? Was it Zhukov? Like, that one general that everyone's like, damn, this guy, like, is doing some cool shit. Come on, T-34. Oh, he just got immobilized. Now, was it a Tiger or the Pac-40 that did it? Ooh, that Pac-40 hit the BT-7 right in front. I, th I thought he was going to aim at this T-34. Oh, he just took two hits. Pick a target and fire, Zukov. Yo, dude, I, there's so many of them. I, I can't decide. Look at him. Boom. Boom. Oh, my God. He, he can't He can't fire. Is he out of range? So we've got, what? Two light tanks immobilized? Actually, one active light tank. Just took a pack 40 to the nose. And got immobilized. Ooh, Zukov's down. This is the last one. It's the last Russian. Pack 40 to the side. Oosh. And you know what? That's it. Ladies and... Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. The artillery's trying to hit this last immobilized one. So let's see how accurate they are. Oh, that's an AT gun, actually. That's got good range. Ooh, AT gun to finish it off and artillery shells to finish off any survivors. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Total Tank Simulator. This game is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So let's see what happened. Um, both light tanks died. All the heavy tanks died. Three anti-tank guns were okay, two artillery were okay, and then 11 mines not exploded. Ladies and gentlemen, total tank simulator. Let me know which battles, formations, or ideas you'd like to see in the next video. And remember, this, this series is going to be going off on the second channel a lot more frequently than it is over here. So there will be a link to that channel in the video description below. I'll see you guys later.